Superstar K-pop group The Stray Kids just got disrespected at the Met Gala. There's an internet uproar. Let's talk about it. Yeah, this is going viral, viral. Let's take a look at some of these titles. Don't F with K-pop idols. Genuinely disgusted by how the paparazzi treated Stray Kids at the Met Gala. Let's run the clip. Closer together. All right, and right there, guys, and if you guys get I'll it, just take a headshot of each of you. How about that? All right, guys, tone it down. Tone it down, gentlemen. I've never seen so many emotional faces in my life. Yeah, right? Oh, the reveal. Oh, now we're going to do it again. Maybe now we can get it this time. Now let's do it with feelings. You're gonna start performing. I, I think they are gonna start performing. Right? And turn this way. Whoa, look at this. I can get you at least. Jump this way. Jump crazy. Straight ahead. Everybody jump. How do you say right in Korean? Okay, guys. As you were. As you were. Boom! Long story short, Andrew, the superstar K-pop group, the Stray Kids, which is sort of like just up and coming in the West, right? You know, BTS, they got to go to the army and stuff like that. Um, they got brought by Tommy Hilfiger to the Met Gala. So they're sort of represent, they're, they're wearing Tommy Hilfiger. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that Hilfiger paid on a wind tour, paid the Met Gala. I'm not sure exactly how the system works to have them wear his clothing. However, the paparazzi, Andrew, they're these rough and tumble New York guys. Paparazzi, they don't have the best reputation for being not rude, right? right they're right, they're right. ill mannered people. Yeah, yeah. Paparazzi are not considered uh, the favorite people of a lot of celebrities. They go on to make a bunch of remarks while mm -hmm. they're taking photos of the stray kids saying, Ugh, these guys look so unemotional. They look robotic. Hey, guys, why don't you jump? Should I just take one headshot? And it's like I got headshots for all of you guys. Apparently, there was a COVID joke. Andrew, those are just the things that were caught by the microphones. Mm, so obviously there was an internet uproar and guys, I'm gonna tell you this, the reaction from their fan base, apparently some of their websites of the photographers and their Instagram handles have already been spammed or possibly hacked. So we're gonna go through the reaction. We'll give you our take based off the video that we saw. I was not there at the Met Gala, obviously. David, we don't get invited to those things, but We'll give you our takeaway, so please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Check out Smile Last Sauce at SmileLastSauce.com. I will say this. I mean, listen, I think people are mad for several different reasons on the internet. And there's different corners of the Asian community or any community that are mad. I, I see mostly be Asians being mad about this. I think there are the Stray Kids fandom right? Those are the people hacking. I believe this guy's name is Sean Zinna's website right now. But then you have, Andrew, a lot of people on sort of macro thinking websites that are like, dude, this just happens to Asians nonstop in America and especially Asian guys mm -hmm. yeah. where basically people are saying they are dismissive of rate. Like basically Asians and maybe specifically Asian men are the last group where essentially blatant racism is allowed publicly in America. Yeah, and they're always disrespecting people who are famous, especially famous Asian guys, kind of treating them like, oh, well, you're not even famous. They just gave you the role or they just are making you famous because they have to. We don't really care about these Asian guys. That's pretty much the tone. I'm not saying they said that, by the way. They didn't say anything specifically racial, okay? But, but it's clear that the photographers, Andrew, here's some photos of the paparazzi we're referring to. They have no clue who Stray Kids is, right? No, that's fine. I mean, and, listen. And would I'll, you say they resent having to put them on the pedestal to take photos of them? Yeah, even though that's their job is to take photos of, at, of people at the event, regardless of if you're familiar with their work or not. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. I guess the other side of it is that it is true that these guys do look different and they are acting different in the sense that they're not responsive to commands or whatever like that. Not that they have to be responsive, but I guess if I was to put myself in the mind of like a 50-year-old white American, these guys just seem super different to me. Yeah, I mean, listen, overall, I think we've seen Asian guys get disrespected. First of all, there's different levels of disrespect. I wouldn't put this as a super high level, but this is definitely disrespect. Where I'm saying they're not gonna treat... 
some African Afrobeat artists from Nigeria this way. Like if they're black or any other color or white even, if it's a white boy band group, I don't think they're talking like this. You know what I mean? Right. And that's why I think we have right to get sick of this. This is not like something I would go out there and protest. I'm not enraged. I'm not super mad, but I'm kind of like, yeah, listen, if these fans want to step up for Asians and go, uh, you know, spam these guys' accounts and kind of teach them a lesson for talking crazy about Asian guys, I, I'm going to let it happen. Like, you know, that's cool to me. Like, I, I'm just kind of tired of Asian dudes getting disrespected in all different ways. And I'm not saying these paparazzi should even lose their jobs. That's fine. Keep taking pictures. But I hope you got the message. Right, right. I mean, you cannot... It was crazy because it reminded me of the way people get talked to from another era, from yeah. a bygone era. But it seems like the way they're viewing Asian guys is still stuck in like the 1930s or something like that. Um, here are five major discussions around this video that are taking place on the internet right now. I'm going to try to cover them very quickly. The first discussion is, Andrew, were the paparazzis racist or just regular rude, typical paparazzi? If people are arguing back and forth. I mean, I'll just pop up the comments because I don't even want to get that granular. I mean, we're talking about constant arguing back and forth yeah listen i would like i would need to see that they kind of had this attitude throughout the entire show listen if the paparazzi were the roast paparazzi and they were roasting every celebrity and that's what they're supposed to do to everybody that's different but yeah that's different but a lot of people were saying when they were leaving there were everybody was like arigato arigato yelling japanese at them and they were saying that like clearly this is like cross the line now because you're not even saying words in there right pressure. well because now you're saying something that has to do with them being asian but you're getting it wrong and you don't care listen kind of acting like construction workers from the 19 from 1995 hollering at like an asian girl on the street you know how people just say yeah ling ling or something like yeah, yeah my like, sushi roll my sushi roll hey woo woo uh yeah stuff like that you know it, it is definitely disrespectful. I'm not going to put it on, like, a high level of racism. Like, let's be honest. Like, I want to be fair in all this, and I'm not trying to cancel everybody on a whim. But disrespectful, yes. Um, people were talking about how effective is these internet fandom armies. Basically, these fandoms that belong to these uh, it's younger kids, a lot of them are very digital fluent. They're, like, going through finding out everybody's information, doxing them, and then hacking their websites. Hey. Is that a way for a group of people who are more in front of the computer? They're, these are not people roaming the streets to find Sean Zinna, but they can hack Sean Zinna's website. The power of the people, man. Like, I'm not saying, again, that I am one of the people enraged in this, and I'm not going to spend my time hacking his account, but if I think that those people are in, indirectly standing up for Asian guys. They are. Right. They're standing up for Asian guys to not get disrespected. And some people need to get yelled at and barked at and taught a lesson. And I think that this is, it's like when your manager at work chews you out. Like who else is going to talk to you that way? Only your manager is. Right. Um, Andrew, I'm just going to read some of this next section of comments. This is section number three. Too many people are comfortable. Too, are, too many people are way too comfortable belittling Asians. Casual racism against Asians is so common in the Western world. You'll never see this much of this type of microaggressions towards any other races. I see it towards Asians. Okay, not, this is not okay, but I'm sure Asians are used to this treatment in America. Nothing new. I don't know what this weird phenomenon is where the presence of Asian people brings out the most racist and vile sides of people. It's something that Asian people have been complaining about for decades, et cetera, et cetera. And people are bringing up the BTS said the first thing that when they came to the Western world, they were shocked at how much... It, kind of hidden low-key hate people have for Asian people. Somebody said Asians need to get more bold, outspoken, expressive, and clap back sometimes. What do you think about this whole series of comments? I mean, I can confirm that I've felt belittled in public places randomly. I remember one time I was helping a, a bunch of blue-collar Italian ladies take a photo in Philadelphia by Gino's Cheesesteaks. Mm -hmm. Pats or Gino's, whatever the less racist one was. And the lady was like, oh, can you back up and take a, a larger group photo of us? Can you back up? Can you back up? And this lady told me to go stand in the middle of a, a, of a car-ridden street and take the photo. Like, essentially killing myself. And I remember other girls in our group were like, why would you say that to this nice little Asian boy who's, like, helping us take this photo? But she was like, yeah, yeah, why don't you go, go in the middle of the street and take the photo? And I remember thinking... If I was any other group of guy, I would throw this phone down and smash this phone on the street. 
But of course, like a good Asian, I just handed it back. Mm. But I'm saying that this is the same type of belittlement that Asians are used to receiving. Yeah, and then obviously I think some, one of the responses is that you like just drop the phone and walk away and be like, all right, you take the picture, then boom, you know, mic drop. And then that that is, uh, some people would call that extreme. Some people would call that acceptable. Right, right, but different I mean, people have different thresholds. Yeah, right? and, and you know, there is no history of Asian celebrities grabbing a paparazzi camera and throwing it on the ground and punching a paparazzi. So nobody thinks right. that Asians you're, you're are capable of this. You're saying in a Kanye this. or Sean Penn style way, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, this question, this led to another question where it said, why are specifically Asian men devalued? This, uh, this guy said, the Vogue live stream on YouTube also gave a big cold shoulder to their coverage by talking over them when they were doing the interview. And the same thing happened to show Chu. These were the most notable Asian guys at the Met Gala. Um, when the Western media is talking ish, you know, you're doing well. They are f super uncomfortable with the fact that these Asian guys are becoming world stars, but they don't want to recognize it in their world. Mm. How much do you think it is that these guys are so globally influential, but in America, there's this racial hierarchy of coolness and Asian guys are at the very bottom, but they can't accept that the world and Tommy Hilfiger and Anna Wintour, they want to sell things globally. Yeah, I mean, it's worlds colliding, it's globalization, not everybody agrees on who is famous, not everybody agrees on who is a star, but I would say, if they're at the Met Gala, you should be more respectful, you know, especially when you know that you're getting live streamed right next to you, uh, where I'm like, yeah, man, photographers gotta be a little bit more careful next time they're at the Met Gala, if you're gonna live stream everything, everything's recorded, I mean, trust me, this guy's at least weak was made very uncomfortable because of the remarks that he made. So I hope he learned the lesson. Uh, I got to read this comment. 80 years of propaganda to effeminate and dehumanize Asian men so it makes it easier to kill them en masse uh, is happening. Literally, there was three big wars against Asia, Japan, Korea, Vietnam. Obviously, China was involved in some of those as well. And basically... Uh, that, that is the way that there is still this carryover of hatred from the old war days. Um, Andrew, it is true the paparazzis, they were 50 years old. And like to your point, Andrew, they're from an era where they're used to only American things dictating what's big around the globe. Um, here's the very last comment. I don't understand why Asian Americans seek so much validation from predominantly white American spaces and mainstream culture. And other people are saying you and me both. Um, ultimately, Andrew, what do you think is going on right now? You got Gen Z, you got the new global market, the old Anglo hegemony, Hollywood hegemony, and they're just going to war with each other. They feel like they're being supplanted, so they want to make demeaning remarks. To be fair, I guess, stray kids, it does, it's just a different look that's more accepted in Asia that's not accepted in the West, but I do think there is some racism involved, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, man. You, anybody can say whatever they want, but the, also the internet is going to react how it wants. And I'm not saying the internet is always completely right, but they're always making a point. So if you get spammed on your account because you're caught on camera disrespecting, possibly being slightly racist towards their favorite group, uh, then yeah, so be it. I mean, that's that is what happens. That's just the balance of the world, I guess. Right. And like I said, there's a Gen Z internet world and there's sort of this old world that's way pre-internet, like super Western hegemony world. But the, I would say the older guys, they still run everything, right? But now you're seeing the Gen Z is like wielding its power and how it wields its power is through the internet. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Obviously, like I said, I mean, I do think that K-pop bands are just Asian, like the when masculinity look, which is more like ultra pretty boy. I could see how that's perceived a certain way in the West, but to disrespect these guys that are brought there on behalf of Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger and obviously all of their fans is crazy. Um, and I do think it's reflective of larger attitudes, but there's other details in there. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this whole controversy. It's still raging on right now, going hyper viral. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.